How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the on hash change event on the window object in JavaScript. So basically this event will fire off or trigger whenever the hash value, so in the browser, whenever the hash value uh, beside the URL gets changed. So this guy, if this changes from, for example, value to something like decode, decode, um, that change right there will cause this event to trigger or fire off. So it's useful when developing single page applications or basically anything where you need to, where you need to, um, you know, remember or keep track of the the history of the web page within a link or URL itself. So let's start by firstly just defining the event listener itself. So let's make a new script tag down here. Just like that, and we can start by saying window dot add event listener. So as I said, this event is part of the window object. So add event listener. We're gonna add the hash change event, and here you put obviously the function to actually fire off. So we'll type out function, and we're simply just going to for now going to console dot log. I'm just going to say, hey, hash has been changed. Alright, if we save this, go in the browser, refresh. We'll just open up the developer console here. Okay, let's change the value of this hash. We'll make this instead, um, I don't know, bottle. Press enter, and we see we get, hey, hash has been changed. Now here, the page wasn't actually reloaded. Look at the um, the icon here. You'll see when I press enter, let's just change it to decode once again. The icon doesn't refresh or doesn't have that, you know, that, um, that spinning logo. The page doesn't actually refresh. And obviously we get two, so we've got that message once again. So now we're simply just going to, you know, extend this out a bit by making a, a new paragraph um, tag here. And give it an ID of, I don't know, hash dash update. Okay, let's now reference this paragraph tag in, in, um, in the JavaScript here. So we'll type out const, new constant called hash update equal to document dot gets element by ID and pass in hash update. So now, whenever the, um, the hash value changes, we're simply going to pass the value of that hash into this paragraph tag. So, instead of the, the console message, we'll type out hash update dot text content equals window dot location dot hash. And that property right there will give us the value of the hash, inclusive of the hashtag itself. So now if we save this, refresh the browser, and we change this hash value to, let's just say bottle once again, press enter, we get bottle right there. Let's make it decode again, and it changes. There you go. So just for an example here, just to, you know, um, it's good to know this, to actually remove um, the hash, you can quite simply just use a substring. So let's just, instead of typing out, you know, that right there, we'll say, we'll actually include that and we'll just say um, dot sub string and pass in one and that is going to remove everything from that string um, before the index of one so index zero will be the actual hash index one will be the start of the actual value you know by itself so now we'll save this and refresh one more time and we'll test it refresh we'll change the hash value to bottle press enter and now we get bottle on its own. Alright, and that is how you can use the the hash change event in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.